the conversation because as I said before, I don't want this to happen anywhere else, not just at the count, a county facility, anywhere. So everybody needs to see what solutions they can come up with to keep it from happening. So yeah, everybody needs to be at the table, but that that's the county stuff. Holly Hanton, you cover county government. You think they're worried over there uh, oh, downtown? I, I'm sure they're worried. I believe that there is a special meeting tomorrow of the Harris County Commissioner's Court to discuss the problem. Um, they're, they're certainly gonna be worried about it. I find it sort of interesting too that up to a few days prior to this festival, we were still on red alert uh, here in the county for our COVID threat level. So it's a little bit interesting that, uh, you know, permits were issued for such a large mm-hmm. event. Um, you know, and again, you're going to have issues when you have a large crowd of people and you don't have good crowd control measures in place. So it'd be interesting to see what they come up with. Bill King, what was your read on the mayor's comment? Well, you know, the hypocrisy here at every level is just so rich. I mean, if you recall, uh, Sylvester Turner standing with Travis Scott in the middle of the rodeo a couple of years calling for the Ashton and, and, and declaring Travis Scott Day. And now all of a sudden he wants to be in charge of the investigation of his buddy, Travis Scott. And then Lena Hidalgo says, we're still at stay home, don't go any place. But by the way, we'll let 50,000 people crowd into a, a, a facility and then give me a break. Greg Abbott's going to set up a task force for this. Marcus and I were talking about this during the break, had the same reaction. We can't investigate the grid, but let's go investigate, you know, concert safety. Me, Give me a break. All right, Marcus, jump in here. You did say that. Listen, I, 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 I will say this, right? And this is no finger pointing. I'm just going to point something out. If I were trying to open a restaurant, and so if I get a visit, y'all know why. If I were trying to open a restaurant, then nobody's going to tell me you need a fire sprinkler and we're going to let you open anyway. And then after the fire and the customers and the restaurant burns up, then they're going to say, well, we sat down with Mr. Davis before and told him he needed a fire sprinkler. They're going to say no from the jump, right? So that language that's being used after the fact, save it. It's disgusting. Bob Price, final word to you, about 30 seconds. I'm not surprised about the criticism against the governor. He'd also be criticized (laughs) if he didn't take action on this. So, you know, go either way on that. I will add one thing that KHOU reports that about between three and 5,000 people forced their way or cut their way in through the fences illegally to get into that, adding about another 10% to the population of that crowd. All right, we're going to leave.